Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Charlene and welcome! And today we're going to be doing this look on my face. I got it from a Pinterest look. I hope you do like it. If you can see how I get this look, please stay tuned. So I know my face doesn't match my body but don't worry, it's just something that I'm trying. Now I saw something on Pinterest that looked really good and I'm going to create the same effect as well but mine's going to be a little bit more 3D because the ones that I've seen on Pinterest are 3D and some are not. On Pinterest I saw a girl, um, it just says from the girly slash house dot blog spot dot com. I saw this picture, whoever this is or inspire me to do something like this. Now she has it across her face, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to do it right here. So I have literally done it everything, but first of all I need to outline the shape that I want, you know, whoops, outline the shape that I want. So I'm going to start from here and I'm going to get a brow pencil actually because it's going to be a little bit more better. So I'm going to use this brow pencil. I'm just going to do this and then do this. Okay. And I'm going to keep going like that. I'm going to zoom you in though. I don't know if you can see it but there's a little thing right here. And then I'm going to do another little one right about here and they can be small medium or large and then they don't have to be the same thing because um some so i'm just going to go in this direction I don't want to go across my nose, but I feel like this shape going like that, I think it's going to be a little more, more accurate, I believe. You see, I'm just going to, going to go to this side now and do the same thing. Probably should have done colour first, but I didn't. So that is kind of the shape that I want. So I'm going to grab some colour. I'm going to blend um, some of the shape. I'm going to do like blend all out. All all out. So I'm going to use some of Makeup by Jack because you can create green with this colour as well. So what I'm going to do is do dark blue right here and just kind of go around it as well. So I'm just putting that right here. Use a bigger brush, you don't have to use a eyeshadow brush, but I am. So don't worry, we don't have to go too far deep because I do want to outline the oh crap. The lines. And that's what I want to do. I do want to go around the outlines with a black and like make the outlines darker. So I'm just going to probably do two spaces of this dark blue. And then in the next colour, I'm just going to make sure make sure that's all blended in together. Now I've done something like this, but I was inspired by that picture and I thought to myself, that actually looks really good. So I'm just going to, you need to blend it as well. Now what I'm going to do is take a light blue to blend that together so you can blend it together. Just blending it together here. So you see it's a nice blendable colour. You can tell it's a fact is a light shade. All right, next we're going to do a yellow. So we just have to be very careful with the yellow because it will blend to make a green. This yellow is very bright. When you do blend it, it will turn a sort of greeny colour. That's not what you want yet. Just need to blend it, make sure it doesn't turn a greeny colour. See, as you can see, it's turning green, which I didn't want. I'm going to use this, so I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this brush to paint the yellow one. So that's what I didn't want, I didn't want just blending colours down, dark, light. Now I want to mix the light blue and the dark blue to get that green, so I can have green in here. Because I feel like green will be very good. So I'm going to take the brush and dip in both into the blue and yellow. And that's going to make a lovely green. You see that green there? See, it's just going to make a nice green. You dip into the blue and green. Yellow and yellow and the thing and I like this green because this green's quite vibrant as well I thought I'd do this because it 
it's a fun look and you can see all the different colours. So you're gonna when the trouble is the reason I've wanted to do this is because I thought like it deserves its shot, you know. As you can see, it's getting down into there. And if you're having trouble blending it, get another brush and just go in between the colours. These two don't need blending, just more like this two. It's just eyeshadow, you can just wash it off if you want to. It might take a purple because I love purples. So I'm going to start with the purple from up here and then work it way down as well. So I'm going to take the purple. Um, actually, I'm just going to take light purple and just put it into this gap. Don't worry if you go over the lines a bit, we'll sort that out. And the next bit you can use, um, you can use face paint. Purple is a really hard colour to blend. So if you're having trouble blending it, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Because purples are a nightmare to blend. So we have a purple. Next book. And you see it's creating this effect. You might not see it at the minute, but it will come together. So we're gonna take a dark purple. Don't worry, this will get tidied up. If you're thinking I'm a good grave, I'm gonna ruin this, but don't worry, it's gonna get tidied up. One that I wanted to do, you know, and I said I'm gonna have colour, and this is this is colour right here. <laughs> I thought I'd do it. I, want, I was going to do it around the nose, but I thought, nah. I did mess up a bit here because I've drawn so many. So what I'm going to do is going to use a pinky next to do this. I'm not quite bothered if I do mess up, if I do grab the lines here because I can fix it up. And then there's a little bit of red. So I'm going to take that to blend into an orange as well. It's going to be a little bit of an orange, but... This will get an orange sorry my bloody hair's in the way as well. Blend in that as well. So as you can see, we have colour all around our face, okay? So next, that is done with the makeup by Jack palette. I love that palette. You're gonna need a foundation, the foundation that will suit that will match your face, and you're gonna get a smaller brush. I'm just gonna get a brush like this. And yet you're going to take a lot of foundation on a brush, any small brush will do, and you're just going to go in and just fill in the lines that we put. You need a little bit more right about here. Just because you're going to need to have the diverse so it look like it's, you know, mm -hmm. can you see that? It's just, it's trying, but it's getting that effect even more. Okay, so we've got that bit done. You need, I'd say use a black gel eyeliner or a liquid liner. I think I'm going to try a liquid liner and we are going to go around the lines what we created okay so this is gonna be a little bit tricky so you need something so thin to go do this part as you can see we're getting the effects in you can see this fresh foundation on him so now i'm gonna go in with black as you can see we've got the lines we need to basically make sure we make sure we need we need to make it 3d so make sure we need to let it stand out so uh, makeup by Jack don't have a black in this palette. I don't mind because it's it's bomb that one is. Didn't need to use that. Oh. And now we're going to use a fine brush. I'm just going to use a brush like this. It's just stained, and you're going to go around. You're going to use a black, and you're going to go around the black ones to make sure it pops out with 3D. I'll show you what I mean. So. So you just need to go around the outside. I do want to show you what I mean. So as you can see what I've done, I've just bent around the outside of it to make sure it is 3D. And you see it looks like it's just lifting off the face. So especially around all the lines, you need to do that to the lines because that's gonna that's gonna feel like the skin is like lit it, it's like it's like melting but it's lifting off. Because when foundation drips, 
it doesn't drip flat, it drips 3D. As you can see, it just looks like it's just a little bit 3D because that's what you want. You don't want nothing, you don't want the drips flat on your face, you want them to make sure they're 3D. The black lines have done that, but you just need to do a little bit of shading around the actual. You can do this with a pencil brush. You can because it will be a little bit easier, but you do need to go around. So I've gone around with it. Now I'm gonna get some more foundation, put it on the back of my hand. And with the smaller brush that I used, if I can find it, okay, with the smaller brush that I used, I'm just gonna clean up the bits that I need to clean up. This is why I did it. I wasn't aiming for this, but you know what? It worked out this way and I absolutely love it. So, that looks freaky, but I love it. So, I can see I haven't got any contour on the rest of my face, nothing like that. So, I'm just going to, you know, we need to put some stuff on the face. We're going to put some blush here and we are going to you know, do that. So, we're going to put some blush right there. I'll take the Galifone brush and put a bit, you know, right on your cheeks to give it a, like a nice look as well. Just on top. Yes, it's not on your cheeks. I know it's not on your cheeks. Mine is kind of an angle, so I can do this because I love blush. That's gonna be fun. Then we get to highlight. I can't go wrong with that highlight, guys. We need some highlight in this game. Now we need to put some highlight on. I know my eyelashes, my eyelashes are not very good about you. Put some highlight on. So it's, you know. Get some highlight on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to zoom you out to show you what the actual final look looks okay, like. Okay, so guys, I absolutely love the, this look. I don't know what to call it. I have no idea what I'm going to call this. But I love how it's gone. It's very colourful. It's like the drip effect, but I'm so happy. I'm glad that I did it like a little bit of an angle, like it's gone higher up here and then gone down lower, then gone higher again. I absolutely love that. Uh, it gives you less surface to work for. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.